Hello everyone, my name is Kola and I'm an APA technical trainer. This video is part of the APA Learning Bytes video series and I will demonstrate you the using of the Excel functionality. In this video we will create a very simple Excel file with uh, three columns. We will read data from this file and we will write it back to the file. Let's begin from creation of an empty Excel file. So I will go to my C drive. I will create a folder and I will name it test. Inside of that folder I will create new Excel file which I will call test as well. This, uh, this Excel file will have uh, three simple columns, one for the first name, second for the last name and then for email and I will uh, create three rows, one for Mickey, Mouse, with email mickeymouth at worlddisney.com and the second guy will be Donald Duck which is obviously Donald Duck at worlddisney.com and the third one will be Goofy Dog which is uh, jd at walldisney.com This file we will read from our APA solution and we will update it from inside of our solution. In my solution I will go to business entities and I will create the new type which I will call Excel row which will have uh, three properties one for the first name second one for the last name and certainly the last one will hold the email and I will create a list of these Excel rows to hold the data from my file. Just to demonstrate the data on my screen I will create new blank callout. I will go to presentation layer and I will create new blank callout which I will call file data. And uh, to this callout, I will add table. Doesn't matter how many rows and how many columns, I want to connect this table to the list which I have inside of my business entities. And I will also provide the controls for every row and row uh, that will allow me to modify the data. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I will go to business logic to create an event handler on the solution load. Let's call it start, which will handle the event from library object administration solution loaded. When the solution will be loaded, I want to show my callout. And let's fill our list with the data from our Excel file. So we will use the library objects functionality, of course, but uh, before that I need to create some uh, logistic around that. So I want to use the for statement. I want to begin from line number one and I want to read line by line. So the implementation will be one and I want to read three lines. So iterator is not larger than three. So here is my condition and uh, I will use some local variable inside of this iterator which I will fill with data from Excel file and I will add it to my list. Uh, therefore I will create local variable of type Excel row and I will call it current row because it is complicated uh, type uh, I need to actually allocate some memory for the current row. So I will assign, let's move it up, I will assign into current row the empty business entity. So I will use library objects, business entity, create. 
and on every iteration I want to read from Excel file to my business entity so I will use the assign into current role first of all to the first name I want to assign with help of library object MS Office functions I will use the function get Excel value which requires few parameters from me one for the file name sheet name column and row of course so uh, let's get the file name so i will get uh, the path to this test file uh, and let's copy it as a path and let's paste it over here so let's just remove the double quotes around it and for the sheet name i will uh, use sheet one as you can see it in our excel so the sheet is sheet one for the column for the first name the column is a right here so uh, let's put in the column a and for the row i will use my iterator so for the row uh, and my iterator is actually a number, so I need to convert it to test to text. So I will use library objects conversion, and I will convert number to text, and I will provide here the iterator. The same I can easily do for the last name and for the email. And uh, let's copy this line and let's paste it uh, two times. And uh, I want for the last name, I will use the column B. And for the email, I will use the column C. So practically, when we have our first name, last name, and email uh, brought to our business entity, we want to add this current row to the list of uh, Excel rows so i will use the uh, function invocation and let's move it up and i will use the function of my list of excel rows i will add item because we are using the complicated user defined business uh, type so i need to uh, use uh, library objects business entity duplication and i will duplicate the current row and the copy of it will be added to the list of excel rows so looks like we are ready to test our solution so to test our solution let's hit the run main project button and what we expect to see we expect actually to see some call out appear when solution is loaded and here is the call out with the according table and then our solution should read from the excel file line by line so first one is mickey the mouse with according email and then the second one is Donald the Duck and the last one should come Goofy and uh, yeah here we uh, here we here you go and we have the Goofy the dog brought from our Excel document now when luckily we can uh, read from Excel file so let's add the functionality to write this data back to Excel file when we will update this data so I will stop my real-time client and I will go to business entities. I will create new type, which uh, will just hold the function to update uh, the Excel file. So I will call this type func for functionality. And uh, I will create an instance of this functionality, which will practically have only one function, which I will call update Excel. Sorry about the mistype. And this function will be practically very simple. For this uh, function, we will actually do exactly an opposite process of what we have done for to read the data from file. So I will uh, use the iteration. I will use the for, uh, for statement. And I want to iterate through all the list of rows. So I will begin from one, increment by one. And uh, as long as iterator is not larger than number of my uh, 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 elements in the list, so business entity list number of elements, 
So for every element like that, I want first of all to have some local variable, which I will uh, of type Excel row, and uh, I will use it as current row. And I will assign to this current row I will to this current row I will assign from business entity list of Excel rows value at my iterator. Now my current row holds the data for the for one line and and I can use the functions from the MS Office functionality. So I will go to library objects, MS Office functions, and I will use the function set x cell value. This function is able to set the data back to the Excel uh, file. So very similar to the previous function. So I will uh, go and take the file name from our event handler. And I will put it here in place of the file name, and the sheet name will be sheet one. And for the column A on the row, and I need some conversion here, so convert text a uh, number to text. I will convert the iterator, and I want to put to this cell the data from current row first name let's copy it and paste two times of course to the column b i will put the last name and of course to the column c i will put the email Now this function update Excel I want to trigger from my UI so just for testing purposes let's get back to our callout and in the bottom of the table let's add some button let's uh, put here some text update and practically this button will invoke the function which we prepared so insert instruction function invocation I will invoke function from font type update Excel now we are ready to test our solution so let's run our main project and our callout should appear with all three uh, friends from excel file let's by the way close our file because we will need to overwrite it in a few seconds so here is mouse And here is the duck. And the last one should be the Goofy the dog. And let's change Mickey to be uh, Cinderella. And let's update the data in our Excel file. So I will click on Update button. And I see my project here is working. We will give it a few seconds just to rewrite all the data to the Excel file and then I should be able to go to our test folder and my and my file should be rewritten very now so it's modified and let's open it to see what we've got and practically we can see that my uh, Mickey was replaced by Cinderella in the column number A so in this video we have covered the, the using of Excel functionality in the API uh, robotic solution and see you in the next video.